All right. Hello, everybody. G.I. Joe here. Welcome back to my bunker here in Atlanta. Boy, has it been a long time. Hope you guys are doing well. But, uh, man, there's been a lot going on here. I won't bore you with too many details, but, you know, in the middle of the home renovation and I don't know, just been real busy, but nonetheless, um, I've been working on a little minor project here and there, and uh, normally I would have filmed while I was doing this, and I'd been so out of a habit of filming videos that I just forgot to do it. So, I'm going to do kind of a little brief overview on what I've done here. So, what are we doing? I'm here to show you my newly painted and decaled, or decaled, as they say, as my Canadian friends say, junkers. And uh, I'm very happy with these. But uh, so, first of all, let me just show you the inspiration. The inspiration was this picture. Of course, now you probably know that there are tons of different types of paint schemes for German planes or any nationality for that matter. But I just kind of dug the way that this looked, you know. It just seems classic. I like the dark gray with the black. I like the light blue gray underbelly. I like the touch of yellow. And uh, I just like the scheme. And um, plus, the reason I decided to go with this is it kind of matches my paint scheme of my tanks and all this for my BBR. So I decided to kind of stick with that. I know they have a lot of different paint schemes. So nonetheless, um, man, the lighting looks weird. It looks like a yellow. That's weird. It's not doesn't look like down here, but anyways. So all that to say, let's uh, let's take a look at what I did. So I'm just going to show you first of all some of the uh, some of the finished product here. Oh, I think it was because of the light from there. That's what it was. The light coming from the iPad kind of changed the lighting of the camera. But um, first of all, let's talk about the sculpts. These are fantastic sculpts. I got uh, got these at HBG, and uh, they're really nice and detailed. They've got the uh, little wheel bases underneath. Even got underneath the nose. Check that out. I don't know what that's called. You can see the canopy has little lines on the canopy. And uh, really good profiles. Now, if you look at the out of box, just to give you an idea, this is the out of box global and uh, the difference is a little bit bigger profile and the wing and the wheels. So, I really like it. Uh, Doug at HPG did a great job. So, thanks, Doug. All right, so let's um. So let's talk about what I did here. Now I'm just going to walk you through the steps that I did. Again, you're not going to sit here and watch me actually do it because I've already completed these. But So let's talk about the steps. Well, the first thing I did, as you notice, because uh, I wanted my planes magnetized, was I magnetized them. So uh, the first thing I did was I took my planes. Here are the magnets I bought off of Amazon. It's these little, uh, I think they're three millimeter, right? And... Uh, what I did was I had to find the polarity because I wanted to make sure the polarity was all correct on all of these. So the first thing I did was make was see that pol that polarity is correct, which means this top has to go had to go like this, right? So what I would do is I would take a marker and I'd mark the top of this and I'd pull it off, and then when I glued it on the bottom. When I glued it on the bottom of this, I'd make sure that the black was was facing the ceiling, I guess you could say. So if, if the black was on the top, I would do like that, if that makes any sense. Because I didn't want my polarity mess, mess, messed up. So all the polarity on all my stands, on all my planes, and all my carriers and everything is exactly the same. So I could switch out, no problem. So again, the first thing I did was glue the magnet onto the bottom of the plane. Cool thing is the plane was flat enough. I didn't have to do any type of drilling or cutting or anything. I just kind of glued it on there. And the glue I used was this Loctite. I got it, uh, you can get it at Walmart, Target, wherever. No, I actually got it at Home Depot or Lowe's. 
So I use this Loctite, just a little dab will do you, and put it on there, dropped it in there, and just made sure that it's seated even so that you know the plane wasn't cockeyed like this on the stand. So step one, and by the way, I'm gonna put all these steps down below in the description so you don't have to keep up. But uh, step one is I glued the magnet on. You just gotta check for polarity, make sure you get your polarity correct, okay? So that's step one was gluing the magnet on. And that is if you want to do magnets. Now, step two is I had to prime the plane. So this is the primer I used. I use a Tamiya primer, mainly because I already had it in I already had it in my cabinet. I guess you could use any kind of gray primer, but uh so yeah, this is the primer I used. It's not cheap, I think it was like eleven bucks, but um for this little bitty can. But um I uh you know didn't have to use too much of it on these couple planes. So I used Tamiya surface primer. Alright, so I primed the top of the plane, and then of course I flipped it over and primed the bottom. So step one, magnets. Step two, I primed it because I, I didn't want the magnet to show. I wanted the magnet to be painted. So that's why I put the magnet on first. All right, so step two, primed it. Now, step three, let's talk about the paints that I use. Step three, uh, I painted the underbelly. And I used this. I got this at my local hobby shop, hobby shop Tamiya. And this is actually AS5. It's Luftwaffe light blue. And if you look on this... Uh, that diagram that I just showed you, this is the color they recommend. So it's actually like a really light sky blue slash grayish. It's really, really cool. Rather than just paint it, you know, all gray underneath. I want it to look more realistic. So boom. So this is the paint I'd use for underneath it. AS5 light blue or light blue, yeah, Luftwaffe Tamiya colors. All right. How much was the can? I don't really well. What does it say there? I don't remember. Three, four, five bucks a can, maybe somewhere in there. All right, so did the bottom. Did the bottom of all the planes, let it dry. Then I flipped it over. Now the top color that I used was, well, was it? I think it was German gray, but that looks too dark. One second. Let me double check. Nope. I lied. It wasn't German gray. Sorry. Got that from my tanks. It was AS4 gray violet for the Luftwaffe, okay? And the, the 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 price of these, by the way, um on right, well, I thought it was right here. So got another can. I don't know. These might have been $9. They weren't cheap, man. These cans are cheap. This is the same paint that I use on my midway table. Not cheap. So, the paint I used was AS4. So the A the Tamiya AS colors are for aircraft. So, yeah. So again, the bottom for the German plane is AS5. The top is AS4. All right. So I simply sprayed that and give a beautiful coat. AS4 or AS5. AS4 on top. Once that was done, then I started doing the detail. All right. So, uh, you know, what, what order you want to do doesn't matter. I put a little silver. Put a little silver here for the canopy. And just kind of brush that on. Then once that, then I used a little bit of yellow. This is the yellow I used, Tamiya XF3 for a flat yellow. That's what I use for the uh, for the nose and a little bit on the tail. And then of course uh, for the black for the wheels, I used uh, Vallejo or whatever model cutter model color black. For the nose, I just put a little tip on the wheels, you know, just a slight bit of detail. It, it doesn't take but an extra few seconds, but man, it just kind of adds a little pop to it. Give a little detail on the bottom. There's a wheel on the back. I made sure to do that. And uh, so that's that. And then 
so of course you did the yellow first and I put the black on there after the yellow dried and then black black and then by that time the silver on the canopy had also dried I put a little bit of brush a little bit of black on the brush and did a little bit of light airbrush or dry brush rather on there to kind of pull out those little lines in the canopy all right then decals decals as they say up in Canada apparently got these at combat miniatures I just kind of I just eyeballed it picked the one that I thought would look good and I got the ones of course that you see with the white border and uh, to set them I use the set so you just kind of you know you cut out your little decal decal whatever you put a little thing of water and I take this with a brush, a nice clean brush. Just, just put a dab where I want it, dab there, a dab there. And then you pull off the decal decal and you just slide it on there. And then I can just kind of adjust it, you know. And then I think you're supposed to rub a little bit more of this over the top. After that dries, then you put the set on, micro sole. Well, no, that was the set. This is the sole. You rub that over it. And apparently what this does is it uh it helps that decal to kind of really you know settle over any of the like curve curves or any kind of things like that kind of really gets it to take hold of the of the, the shape or the object that it's attached to and then after that dries i had one final step and that was i sprayed it with a matte clear enamel and put it on spray the top spray the bottom that protects the paint, kind of protects and seals that decal on the top of there. And there you have it. So, uh, not too exciting. I, I guess I should have filmed the whole process. Not that you want to sit there and watch me paint, but uh, you get the idea, guys. And then, so here we go. Yeah, so I'm very happy how these turned out. I didn't put any... Uh, didn't put any decals on the bottom yet. Um, I guess I could, because like I said, this is the inspiration right here. That's the inspiration right there. So, uh, all right. Get that back, let that light adjust. So anyways, hope you guys enjoy. I don't know. And uh, this makes me want to do a whole bunch of other planes. Oh, I kind of think planes are kind of cool. Anyways, I, I posted this in the BBR chat on the WhatsApp for the Atlanta BBR tournament. And I think Father, or I said we call him Father, the chaplain. The chaplain said, hey, how about a video say to show us what you did? So sorry I don't have the actual video showing me the actual process. Not that you care to sit me and watch me sit and watch me spray paint something, but I told you. There you go. But uh, I'll put the list of this stuff in the description. Again, the paints that I used. Primer. Tamiya Surface Primer. Paints that I used were Tamiya as well. I used Tamiya AS5 for the undercarriage. AS4 Gray Violet Luftwaffe. Notice they, all, they, will, they both say Luftwaffe. I used those. And then, of course... Uh, colors and then to protect the paint after I put decals on there here from combat miniatures I sprayed this on it to kind of protect it and to seal those so all right see a couple guys have chimed in or popped on whoops I put the comments off but uh any questions I don't see a, I see about three people on here but uh if you have some questions chime in if not I'll uh, go ahead and bounce out of here All right, I don't see any comments, but anyways, thanks for watching for those couple of you guys that popped on. And if you're watching this later when this is not live, hope you enjoy. Hope this helps. And uh, I really kind of been digging and in, getting into painting airplanes, you know. And this all started because sorry. 
This all started because of my Midway game that I bought from HBG, and I started painting my, my Japanese planes to make them more realistic for the, for the Midway game. And then once I did that and kind of got better at the technique, I thought, man, I kind of like it how planes are all painted up. And so I decided, I saw these sweet sculpts from HBG. Doug did a great job. And so I thought, man, let me buy some of those. And then, boom, there you go. Decided to paint those boogers up. So uh, anyway, guys, anyway, guys, hope you enjoy and uh, 